All right, what's going on, everybody? want to welcome you back to another Real Talk video. I pray that everybody is doing well and staying safe as we give the Most High Yah all the honor, the glory, and all the praise and worship. I already knew I was going to get emails about this because of what I said just last week. Um, first of all, I always say give a shout out to our Heavenly Father, the Holy Spirit who allows us to wake up and see another blessed day. Travis Scott, this concert that just happened, what, I have, what I've been saying for years, everybody, that the spirit behind music, the demons that flow with the rappers, I'm not going to say all of them. I'm not going to say everybody's evil and demonic, but the majority that worships Baphomet, if you look at this concert, if you look at the person, period, you should see sacrifices. You should see rituals being done. I don't know how many years I've been teaching this on here. There has to be a ritual. Now, if you look real closely, just like me and my little brother just spoke about, he called me and asked me about my thoughts on this. Like he was saying, the eight fires, I don't know if nobody else caught that. How many people did they say was dead? Eight. Eight fires, eight people died. Then they came back and said people started going into cardiac arrest. Some having heart attacks. Some said they didn't know what, they was, what was going on. Many people got hurt and injured. This is demonic. Just like I was telling my little brother about the last Jay-Z concert he went to. If you realize what's going on in these concerts, you should see symbols. You should really see it before you even think about going to the concert. Now, I'm not knocking what, what nobody do. What you do is what you do. It's your business. But I'm going to always keep warning people. That's why I don't go to none of this stuff. You can see it before it happened. Travis Scott's whole demeanor is demonic. Now listen to what a lot of the people were saying. Oh, we, we got we we was we was going to get exactly what we wanted out of the concert. But then look at what one dude say, man, I thought I was in hell at that concert. He made it out alive. I thought I was in hell. When you realize the energy that's pumping the frequencies come on teach Holy Spirit that's going on with the music behind behind the scenes this stuff goes on all the time you think you're just going to a concert but in reality what are you really going to I keep telling people there's the spirits behind everything that we do in this life there are spirits behind drinking there are spirits behind getting high. There are spirits behind the music. This is why the Bible say, test the spirits by the spirit to see if they are of who? Yah. How can you test these other spirits if you do not have the Holy Spirit? You have nothing to test it with. I've been saying this stuff. I know sometimes I just I sound like a, a broken record. Just last week, me and Didi was having a, uh, a talk about uh, the tour Master P was doing, and I think Master P was also, you know, going to hit Memphis. And I said, the sad thing is, Didi, I said in these concerts, man, anything is liable to pop off. She said, but you know, this this like should be the older people, man, like forty and up, you know that. Crazy about Master P. I said, even with that being said, do you know how many people out here, they will bomb rush to try to get to the stage, anything can happen. I just said this before all this happened. And people will run and, and, and they don't care who they step on and all this stuff. And that's what happened here also. Like I was just telling my little brother uh, years ago at the bowling alley down here in Dallas, Texas, a fight broke out. People got to fight and shooting. And, and this this one lady, she got killed trying to get away. 
She didn't get shot. She got stepped on. And they just, everybody kept running over her and stepped on her. And that's how she died from being stepped on in her head, her brain. Her whole body was just stepped on. Sometimes what we think is good for us, it's not good for us. This is why it's so important to have the Holy Spirit to catch this stuff. I keep telling y'all about these rappers. Some of y'all think I'm just hating and talking crazy. Just like I said about Mo3. Yes, Mo3 could rap, he could sing. But Mo3 predicted his own death. A lot of these rappers, it's life and death in the power of the tongue once again. A lot of these rappers are demonic and they are speaking their own death. How long do you expect to, to I'm talking about the ones out who's really out here who's really doing what they say they're doing in their raps. A lot of these cats out here, they just perpetrating. They lying. If Easy E was alive, he would use the term like he said back in the day, they studio gangsters. Some of these cats out here know they ain't never sold they ain't never sold dope a day in their life. They ain't never shot nobody a day in their life. They ain't never been out there hustling like that. See, this is this is another reason, and I gotta take it there to especially to 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 um UGK Bomb B and Pimp C. This is another reason why Pimp C is so missed. Because Pimp C, Chad, was exposing a lot of this stuff that was going on. Next thing you know, well, Pimp C died on Serb. Really? Really? Do y'all believe that? Y'all know it's something behind the way Pimp C went out. Because Pimp C, was, he was calling out these suckers out here that ain't never sold dope. And like he said in one of his interviews, talk about the other side. If you're going to be hard and really do it, talk about when you get locked up. When your homeboys won't put no money on your books. And while you locked up your homeboy trying to get your girl. Talk about that side of being hard and selling dope. He made a good point. Next thing you know, pimp gone. There are some of these rappers out here who's not going for these rituals. And then there are some, they're going to go through it. And they know to get to the top, somebody got to get sacrificed. What I see going on with this, I know I'm saying a lot to add in this in this Travis Scott video, but I, it all makes sense and it all goes together because it's going to happen again, over and over and over again. That's why when they get on stage talking about, I thank God, you better realize they talking about they talking about Satan, they talking about Baphomet, they talking about the goat. They ain't talking about the Most High. You see this stuff, and a lot of people say, well, you know, Jay ain't nothing wrong with it. You know, he ain't nothing wrong with it. That's what you say. But in reality, now look at this all over the news. Now a lot of people say they done woke up and they're not going to no more concerts with these rappers. But look at how many more people are going to go. And another thing, before this stuff happened, Master P said, don't y'all die tonight. I don't know if nobody caught that. That's what P said. That's what Preston Miller said. Don't you die tonight? Now I love I, I love P. I, I'm not gonna put P in the category with a lot of these 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 new rappers. So, <coughs> excuse me. I call it these new rappers. Um, I can respect P, especially from 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 how he came out to where he is now. You know, it, it's some of these cats out there, man. You can't you can't help but to respect them, and, they, and you ain't got to agree with me. You know. Because I love how he teaches his son the right way. You know, he, he he grew up the wrong way. And he made his wrong and the right. Regardless if you don't like him or not. I respect and I love, you know, you, even though he had that same type of, you know, you, yeah, his music was, yeah, 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 uh, you know, crunk or selling dope or whatever, hustling. But he did what he had to do to get to where he had to get. But at the same time, what I love about P, P has integrity. P gonna draw the line. These new rappers, they will sell out for anything. They're going to go with them rituals. And see, what you got to realize what's really going on out here, man, they getting bent over. I've been saying this a long time. They getting bent over. They getting bent over. 
Y'all know what I mean. I'm trying to keep it clean in the video. They getting bent over. They going through with it. And they moving to the next level because somebody else died. Notice when they come out a lot of times, a, a lot of them will come out with an innocent look, an innocent sound, innocent song. And then look. Look at Beyonce for an example. Look at Destiny's Children. I mean, excuse me, Destiny's Child. <laughs> then you saw what? Sasha Fierce. When you interview Beyonce, what she say? Yeah, it's just something take over me. And I, I can't control it. And look at that video, how demonic that video was. Who was that that blowed up in the car? Now she's with Jay-Z. You see a lot of demonic stuff going on. You know? And then next thing you know, somebody else dies. If you look at the circle, it just keep, the history just keep repeating itself. It's the reason why Aaliyah died. And who moved up the ladder? Somebody catch that later. A lot of these people will see this stuff before it happened and they ignore it. Or they may not think, it. it hey, I can't go through with it, you know. Or I can go through with it. Next thing you know, here come the news. Somebody else died. Nah, really somebody. Yeah, they died, but really what's going on, somebody else got sacrificed. Move up the ladder. Look at my people, how bad they feel now. Because I'm just going to make this a real talk. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I got to let it flow the way it's flowing. Look at how many people in my race now feel kind of stupid in so many ways because of what they start letting out about what really went on with George Floyd and that police officer. That was a ritual. Took him down 33rd Street. What does that 33rd stand for? 33rd degree Mason. Somebody gets sacrificed. Somebody move up the ladder and they kneel down and say, job well done. What was that police officer doing? Kneeling down in, in, in that stranger's neck. No, they weren't strangers to each other. They used to work together. So apparently they knew each other and they knew each other well. Whether you want to believe that or not. Story they, story they never make sense. Trayvon Martin, George Zimmerman. What's going on with that now? Shh, under the table. Why? Trayvon Martin daddy was a what? Mason. 30, 30, he's a 33rd degree Mason. Job well done is what it said on a tombstone. That's what Masons say when somebody is sacrificed and somebody goes up the ladder. You can't move up without somebody being killed. Hopefully they let this video go through. So we be sitting up crying, and, oh man, it's wrong. And, man, you, you sitting there crying about a ritual that went on. Then you want to go get your signs and march again. Black Lives Matter and post this and post that. That was a ritual. Learn something, people. Study. Understand what's going on out here. It's all a part of the agenda. Stop believing everything you see on CNN and Fox 4. These concerts are wicked. You look at all the symbolism that was in this Travis Scott, Travis Scott thing. Look at, look at the big old statue blowing out the smoke. Catch what's going on. And I'm going to tell you something. When something like that happened... Folks get to breaking out and pushing everybody forward and, and, and backwards. Ain't nothing you can do but stumble. Try your best to stay on your feet. And when it's that much for that's just like going against a, 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 a wave when you're in the water. Or that's just like walking in an earthquake hit. Where you going to run? What you going to do? Now they saying so many people had cardiac arrest once again. When you know what you know, you should stay away from it. That was a ritual. Like I say, look at the eight fires. It just isn't that amazing. It was eight fires in a row, and eight people are dead. The rest are injured, and some made it out, 
and the ones that made it out, they say they'll never forget it. They thought they was in hell. Well, when you playing around with demons, that's an old saying. I'm trying to wrap this video up. If you mess around, tamp around with the devil long enough, sooner or later you gonna get an answer. Satan sent his demons to be a part of that. Those demons was all around Travis Scott, all in Travis Scott. But how many people didn't see it? But let me tell you something. As the Bible say, Satan has blinded the minds of the unbelievers. That's why when you're getting high, you ain't in your right mind. When you're shooting up dope, you ain't in your right mind. When you're getting drunk, you ain't in your right mind. You know what you're doing? You're giving the devil an invite. Oh, here we go. Let me tell you something. Demons, once again, cannot do nothing without a body. They need an invitation. And Travis Scott gave the greatest invitation to all the ones who wanted it. Now look at the outcome. He invited you in the demonic world. And you went for it. Now some of y'all lives is gone. Eight. We we already know off top. Eight lives are gone. Eight. Come on, y'all. Why do I talk like this? Because I care. I love you enough to tell you the truth. I'm gonna always stand on the truth. You can you can you can you can count on me for that. I can't sell out. I can't play a part. I stay set apart. And most people that need to be set apart, they are playing a part. Will you go to the next concert? Or will this concert right here remind you? Think about it. It's just like, and I'm, I'm not just saying it just, just because it's in, in our race of people. When you go to those heavy metal, them rock concerts, why do you think the crowd, everybody act the same in the crowd? Those are the spirits. Or why that drama is going so crazy on them drums, the beat, the beat alone got you. Those are those spirits. You yelling, you hollering, you cussing, you ain't in your right mind, you're drinking, you getting high, you waiting on the next level. How high are you trying to go? How high are you trying to get? But this is just my little two cents. It was a ritual. And eight people died. I don't care who don't agree with it. It's just this is what I see, what I saw, and what I've been saying. It, it's just, once again, it ain't just the rappers. You got these, you got these NBA players, celebrities, period, man, who are doing these rituals. And that's why some of them go to the highest level and some of them, they stay messed up on the low scale. And it ain't no different in the gospel world. Somebody might catch that. There's still rituals going on. But JT, they singing about God. Which God? Mm -hmm. Don't you know they sell out too to go to the top? Go, 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 go ask, um, what's his name? Um, go ask Ty Trippin why he did that video. Hmm. Go ask him why he got out of a lot of this stuff. Catch what's going on. You don't think they had them parties too? I'll leave you with that.